Music City. News 2 at 6 starts now. Our intention is to be able to go out and feel relatively safe and not get in the crossfire. But there's no right more fundamental than the right of self-defense. A gun bill once again draws fierce debate on Tennessee's Capitol Hill. Good evening. This time, it's the bill that allows handgun permit owners to take their weapons into bars. The measure passed the Senate, but the version is different from the one that's already passed the House. News 2's Chris Bungard looks at what needs to be done to reconcile those two bills so that handguns can be legally carried into bars. The bill in Tennessee's Capitol Hill to allow you to carry handguns into places like these is now boiling down to a battle over restrictions. Nothing puts the trigger, but the version passed by the Tennessee House a few weeks ago restricts you from bringing handguns in places like these between the hours of 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. The version passed by the Tennessee Senate on Thursday removes that restriction and we'll have a dialogue about whether or not those restrictions should remain the two bills now passed allowing handgun permit carriers to carry their weapons into restaurants with bars must reconcile their differences and i think the bill will come out uh, in the handgun uh, owners and carriers uh, favor but probably not before you'll hear more debate like this that took up a lot of floor time Thursday. What we have before us is the same right that is extended to citizens in 33 other states. Our intention is to be able to go out and feel relatively safe and not get in the crossfire. When you're down in that honky tonk trying to forget the troubles of the world around you, you're knocking them back as fast as you can hold them. I don't think that's a good place for you to be carrying a pistol. Do you think it's a good idea to bring a gun into a uh, place with alcohol? So, with a little help from a honky-tonk singer, we ask for an unscientific show of hands at a popular Nashville downtown hangout. Raise your hand if you're against it. I will do. Raise your hand if you're for it. But as a night crowd comes in, there might be a new tune about guns in bars. Chris Bungard, News 2. Now, the issue of trying to iron out differences in the bill could come on Monday if the House agrees with today's Senate version. If not, the two versions go of the bill will go to a conference committee to try and work out the differences. Tennessee's unemployment rate still beats the national average, and it is up from last month. The March numbers were released today. The report shows 9.6% of Tennesseans are unemployed in February. The, rep the report rate was 9%. Now, nationally, unemployment is at 8.5%. The biggest gain in jobs last month were in restaurant and bars. The industry that lost the most jobs, transportation equipment manufacturing. An alleged paddling has three Metro educators on administrative leave tonight. A teacher and two educational assistants are accused of paddling a student at Brick Church Middle School. Corporal punishment is against Metro policy. A spokesman says officials haven't been able to determine whether an incident happened. A Murfreesboro mother and her infant daughter were laid to rest today. Corey and Olivia Bryant died during last Friday's tornadoes. Flowers and stuffed animals are now stacked on the lawn where the Bryant's home once stood in the Sulphur Springs area. Corey Bryant's husband, John, suffered severe injuries. He is still hospitalized tonight. Phil Vassar, Rodney Atkins, and several other country stars are performing tonight at a concert to benefit a family caught in that tornado. News 2's Brad Schmidt joins us live from the Tin Roof Restaurant on DeMombrin Street with more. Brad? That's right, Ann. As you can probably see, this room is already packed. There hasn't even been one note of music played yet. But Rodney Atkins, as Ann said earlier, is going to be the headliner tonight. A whole bunch of artists have gathered to sing for the family of Rocco Costco. Rocco's been working on Music Row for more than 15 years. And as you can see from the video, his house is absolutely destroyed. There was not, basically it was completely blown off its foundation. The family was actually inside. There were some injuries, not serious, thank goodness. Rocco's gonna be here later on for the concert. And what's really cool about this is even artists who've never met Rocco are gonna be here to sing for him. And that includes Jason Michael Carroll. The coolest thing about country music is we're all just genuine people, and when it comes down to it and we're all in need, we can put that competition aside, which is a healthy competition, and, and we're all, deep down, we're really good friends. And 
uh, Jason Michael Carroll is going to be on at around 7.30. Here's the full lineup. It's Rodney Atkins are on around 9. Phil Vassar at 8. And Jason Michael Carroll, Steve Holy, and Daryl Worley is going to be singing around 8.30. And back out here live, they're trying to have a little bit of fun. This was actually in the house, in Rocco's house. They're auctioning off all of these items that were found in his house after the tornado to help raise money for the family. From the tin roof on Demumbrian, Brad Schmidt, News 2. Thank you, Brad. A Nashville woman agreed to spend eight years in prison for trying to kidnap a newborn baby from a local hospital. Adrian Johnson agreed to plead guilty to kidnapping charges in exchange for the prison term. Johnson took the baby from its mother's room at Metro General Hospital back in December. She was dressed in hospital scrubs, and she told the mother she was going to check the baby's temperature. She was immediately caught, and the baby was okay. House Speaker Kent Williams is mourning the loss of his father tonight. Williams has spent the week in Elizabeth's and taking care of his sick father, Robbie. No word yet on when Robbie Williams died or the official cause of death. The chamber stood in a moment of silence this morning to memorialize Robbie Williams' death. Now, your News 2 Storm Tracker forecast. Well, the sun was nice to add to the weather mix today, but we still have a cool northeast breeze blowing out there this evening. So do grab a jacket or a sweater as you're headed out for your evening plans. Temperatures right now 62 in Nashville. That's better than the 40s and 50s of the past couple of days, but still a bit cool. 63 in Murfreesboro, 64 in McMinnville, and 66 in Winchester. Clarksville at 63, at 61 in Dixon, 62 in Columbia right now. So we're moving in the right direction. Storm Tracker is quiet for us. The clouds that have sort of been off and on this afternoon have not produced any precipitation, nor do we expect that they will. We'll hold some of that off for portions of the weekend. We'll break that forecast down in a moment. But first, let's enjoy a nice evening. 62 right now, same goes at 7 o'clock, and 54 at 9. We'll have some clouds mixing in with our somewhat clearing skies as we go through the night. We'll talk about uh, that next rain chance in just a moment. Thank you, Lisa. And this weekend's forecasted rain has forced TDOT to cancel a major road project. Plans to shut down a portion of I-40 heading east near Fessler's Lane exit are now on hold. TDOT shut down that same stretch on the westbound lanes a couple of weekends ago, and there's no word yet on when the work will be rescheduled. Nashville Police is growing its Crime Stoppers program, and now you could actually text your tip in about police crimes. All you have to do is to text the word CASH along with your message to crimes or this number. 274637. An automated system will send back a tip ID, which can then be used to report additional information. The strength of community safety is the community engaging the community. But in some parts of Nashville, even after six years now of crime reduction, some parts of Nashville aren't safe yet. And we've got to find ways for those neighbors who are behind their doors to talk to us so we can help them. You can now also report information anonymously through the new Crime Stoppers website. It is NashvilleCrimestoppers.com. Well, beginning tomorrow, there will be three new officers on duty in Franklin and Williamson County. And all three walk on four legs. Graduation ceremonies were held this afternoon for Axel, Lexer, and Nash. Two are new K-9 officers for Franklin Police. The other reports to the Sheriff's Department. He's a quick little agile dog, and um, he's going to do great. You know, I'm with him more than I'm with my wife. And, uh, you know, he's, he's at home with me. He goes to work with me. Yeah, we do put a lot of trust in him. Uh, they put a lot of trust in us, so it's, it's a teamwork. The dogs and their human partners had to undergo 20 weeks of extensive training in everything from building searches to drug detection. Tennessee farmers now have a free place to sell the fruits of their labor. Leaper's Fork now has a weekly farmer's market. And as News 2's Julie Cranick tells us, an antique store has created the market in the spirit that is positively Tennessee. It's been waiting since last year for this to happen. <laughs> an antique shop with a fresh feel. Nina's Antique Store is offering up its front lawn to local farmers free of charge. They're the backbone of our community, and I'm a back-to-basics kind of girl. You can buy flowers, eggs, fresh bread, Just a little over egg, naturally raised meat, and organically grown fruits and vegetables. You can't believe the difference in the taste till you taste an organic tomato or an organic squash against one that has had fertilizer on it. There is plenty of local food, but also products made out of local goods. 
When you light the candle... Vendors sell handcrafted candles and soap, hand-carved walking sticks, and canned salsas. Plus, you can pick up your community-supported agriculture, or CSA. A CSA is where our customers buy a share into our garden, and then we bring them a basket of whatever's fresh every week. Nina's not looking to make a profit. She just wants to create a one-stop shopping experience for the community. The biggest thrill was last week I had a lady stand in my front yard and I was up on the porch and she looked up at me and she said, I just bought my family's dinner in your front yard. Vendors fill up that front yard now, but one day Nina envisions farmers filling up several blocks in historic Leaper's Fork. Julie Kranick, News 2. The farmer's market is open every Wednesday afternoon in historic Leaper's Fork from 1 till 6. More local farmers are encouraged to join. There is no fee. You can call Nina's Antique Store if you're interested. Now, we know during this recession there are positive stories that affect our local community. If you know of a company that is finding a way to make things work, tell us about it on our website, WKRN.com. Franklin stepped up its fire service to one of the highest ranked departments in the state. We'll tell you what it will mean for residents. And you can see on Storm Tracker that things are quiet for now, but there will be another wet weather system that comes in before the weekend is over. So we'll look ahead to that in just a moment. Going once, going twice. At Action Nissan, the best price on your next pre-owned vehicle just got better. For a limited time, we've got the car, truck, or SUV you've been looking for, all at low pre-auction prices. And with over 20 banks, we have millions to lend. Best of all, we've got you covered with our pre-owned protection guarantee and no questions return policy. Action Nissan's pre-auction clearance sale. Hurry in now for the best selection. Going, going, gone. Action Nissan, this is where it's at. On the corner of Thompson Lane at Nolensville Road in Nashville. We have a family room, a media room, and a backyard, but somehow everyone always ends up in my kitchen along with their messes. That's when I call Stanley Steamer. In no time, they get my tile and grout clean and my kitchen looking like new. Now, if only it would stay that way. Time to get your tile and grout clean? Call today about our $99 special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home clean. For a limited time, we expanded our Hyundai Assurance so that if you lose your income, we'll make your payments for three months. And if that's not enough time to work things out, you can return the car with no impact on your credit. We're all in this together, and we think it'll be a little easier to get through it with a good set of wheels. Right now, buy any new Hyundai, get up to $5,000 in savings at your Mid-Tennessee Hyundai dealers. Go to MidTennesseeHyundai.com. Franklin's fire department is considered one of the best in the state. That's not only good news in an emergency, it's also good news for residents' bottom line. News 2's Melissa Penry reports. At a time when everyone is keeping track of every single dollar, residents of Franklin are about to get a break on their property insurance. And this red truck is one reason why. Franklin has a new fire hall here in the northeast corner of the county. Before it was here, response had to come from further away. Now with the new fire hall, they've dropped that response time from eight minutes to two. The quicker we can get there, the quicker we can make a difference. When you have someone who's, you know, had a heart attack or you have a non-responsive child that's not breathing, you know, it can be a matter of minutes from either just having a regular uh, medical aid to possible brain damage. That quicker response time is one reason Franklin's National Fire Protection Rating has moved up to a Class 2. For residents, that can mean lower insurance costs for their property. A 2 is fantastic. It puts us in the top 1% of fire departments in the nation, and I think that that is awesome. The improved fire protection does come at a price, $2.5 million for the new fire hall, $1.3 million for the new equipment, and 12 additional personnel. But the city of Franklin, the safety of its citizens is priceless. In Williamson County, Melissa Penry, News 2. It's nice to see some sunshine today. A few clouds at times, though, but no rain out of those clouds on Storm Tracker, at least not yet. The forecast is coming up. So how did we become so dominant in the used car market so quickly? We buy the right car at the right price, and then we sell it fast. So? 
So that means we have fresh inventory at lower prices. Other dealers are holding their inventory longer at higher prices. When I look at old pictures, I look better than I did 10 years ago. Tens of thousands of people can't be wrong, so I just went ahead and did it. Lifestyle Lift, a breakthrough medical procedure that helps remove wrinkles, frown lines, and sagging skin. It was easy, affordable, and the results are amazing. Call now for a free brochure. Lifestyle Lift takes only about an hour. See the difference immediately. In today's economy, there's no better investment than in yourself. Call Lifestyle Lift today. Um, don't look, but you're totally getting scoped out right now. Seriously, where? Don't look. Been staring at you for like 20 minutes. <laughs> what, that? That's the money you could be saving with Geico. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. And now Evans Glass Company can preserve your most cherished photos and a whole lot more. With our new Decotherm process, we can produce photos and text on glass for a great reminder of those family memories. If you have a wedding photo, one of that cute new baby, special awards, or even company logos, we can transfer it to glass. Call us now for special pricing on Decotherm. And remember, you make the coffee, we'll bring the cup. It seems like we're getting everybody financed. How do we do that? Well, as a large volume dealership, we have many lending options like other dealers. But we have something no one else has, our own finance company. And other dealers just can't compete with that. It's spring break on the next Wheel of Fortune. Sounds pretty good. And Pat and Vanna are giving away vacations, prizes, and some really serious cash. That got their attention. Don't miss the next Wheel of Fortune. Tonight at 6.30. Now, your News 2 Storm Tracker forecast. Well, it's not exactly balmy out there, but uh, the 60s, at 62 we have in Nashville right now, much better than the 50s and 40s. We had to settle for the past couple of days for highs. At 63 down in Murfreesboro right now, same goes for Smyrna. Gallatin, you're at 61 degrees. Hendersonville, 62. Bellevue, 63. So really not bad, but this is really more uh, like early, early spring, and now we're into mid-April. But we typically get our dips, our ups and downs this first few weeks of spring, and we certainly have been dipping, that's for sure. Uh, other temperatures around the region are uh, similar, a little bit warmer over here in McMinnville, 64 degrees there, 66 in Winchester. But tomorrow, you know what? We're going to make it about 72 for Nashville, so that will feel more like it. Storm Tracker not picking up any activity. We did see some clouds at times today as uh, anticipated, especially in the afternoon, but no rain from any of those clouds. Radar sweep now out of Nashville coming across I-24. Down around Murfreesboro to Manchester, Winchester, all is quiet for you, so enjoy your evening activities. You do still notice the flags flying around here at Riverfront Park. Still a bit of a cool north-northeast breeze at 7. And with the sunset uh, in about an hour's time, if you're going to be out, maybe at the ballpark, maybe you're going to play or watch a softball game or a baseball game or soccer or something like that, you, you might want to grab a jacket because 62 feels pretty good in the sunshine, but once we watch the sun set, it will cool off a bit. There's a satellite loop, and there's that one stretch of clouds that we've been looking at this afternoon. It was up in Nashville, pushed back down toward Murfreesboro and Franklin and McMinnville. It may lift back up to the north again, but no rain with it. And if you look at the broader view, there's really not much in the way of weather going on right now. We're just still sort of on the fringes of this cool air mass, but tomorrow we'll start to see a little bit more of a southerly flow of air, and that'll warm things up. There's a look at News 2's predictor. You can see the few clouds around tonight may give way to a clear sky early on Friday morning, so some sunshine to start once again across the region. Midday, uh, I think we'll start to see some cloud cover develop again, but once again, no rain with the clouds. So that's not a bad way to start the weekend. Murfreesboro up to Nashville, over to Waverly, Clarksville, back into Cookville, Salina. Yeah, maybe a little bit of cloud cover Friday afternoon and into the evening too, but there'll be some spots with sunshine more than others. And really, with dry weather starting the weekend and the warm-up we expect tomorrow, no complaints. Saturday morning, 9.30, you still see mainly clear skies across the region. And really, Saturday should be a pretty nice day. Good and warm with 70s again. By Saturday evening, Saturday night, we expect to see clouds coming in. And eventually, that will bring our next rainmaker. Saturday will be the drier of the two weekend days. Sunday, looks like it could bring some heavier rains and maybe some storms. 6 o'clock tonight, about 63 degrees. 
It depends on where you are. If you've had a little bit more sunshine, you're going to be a little bit warmer. Otherwise, you're going to be a little bit cooler if you've been in these late afternoon clouds. 52 at 10 o'clock, 46 at 6 a.m. So it will be cool again early tomorrow morning, but a nice warm up thanks to a southeast wind at 5 and some sunshine. By noontime, up to 70, 72, maybe a little better than that in some spots tomorrow afternoon. And Saturday, low 70s as well. So we're moving in the right direction temperature wise, but as we get into Saturday night, again, that's what the PM means. Uh, it looks like we will be looking at some showers, maybe some thunderstorms. Pretty good bet of that Sunday, and we'll keep you posted on that weather system. 65 Sunday, and cool again the first of next week with lingering clouds and some drizzle on Monday. Highs only in the upper 50s, but we warm up again by the middle of the week. All right, next in sports, the Volunteers gear up for the spring game. The New York Yankees open up their stadium with a thud. And he was a Hall of Fame coach, but an even better broadcaster. Big news from John Matt. I think we may have two tornadoes on the ground uh, here it's, in the Rutherford County it's on. area. Guys, look at the camera. Okay, okay, we can, okay now you can, you can, see, see, you can see the tornado. Look, it's coming right across 24 right now, and you can see it is moving very, very quickly. We have a tornado on the ground in Bruce pre-finished hardwood flooring is Southeastern Salvage. Three to five inch engineer plank, oak, maple, pecan, hickory, and walnut. Variety of colors and styles. One dollar to one forty-nine a square foot. Southeastern Salvage Home Emporium, Eugenia Avenue off Thompson Lane. Going once, going twice. At Action Nissan, the best price on your next pre-owned vehicle just got better. For a limited time, we've got the car, truck, or SUV you've been looking for, all at low pre-auction prices. And with over 20 banks, we have millions to lend. Best of all, we've got you covered with our pre-owned protection guarantee and no questions return policy. Action Nissan's pre-auction clearance sale. Hurry in now for the best selection. Going, going, going. Action Nissan, this is where it's at. On the corner of Thompson Lane at Nolensville Road in Nashville. What heals you? A morning swim. Staying in on a rainy day. A little two on two. And for acid reflux damage, my Nexium heals me. For many, one prescription Nexium pill a day can heal damage to the esophagus that acid reflux disease may cause over time. And Nexium can provide 24 hour heartburn relief. Headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain are possible side effects of Nexium, and other serious stomach conditions may still exist. What heals me? Girls' night out. And for damage from acid reflux disease, my Nexium. Why wait? Ask your doctor about Nexium today. For the majority of patients with prescription drug coverage for Nexium, it's available for $30 or less per month. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. I discovered the problem growing grass seed is me. I'm a grass seed failure. Well, I forget to water, and the seed dries out. And once it's dry, it's dead, and once it's dead, it's just... Now, there's Scott's Turf Builder Grass Seed with WaterSmart. Scott's best seed wrapped in a super absorbent coating that actually holds water to keep the seed moist. So now I don't have to worry if I miss a day of watering. The Scott's looks greener and thicker. Looks beautiful. It's lush. It's me-proof, in a way. <laughs> seed guaranteed to succeed. That's the Scott's advantage. The speed, the sound, the feeling returns to Thunder Valley. May 15th through the 17th, the NHRA Drag Racing Series returns to Bristol Dragway. Call for tickets. The NHRA Thunder Valley Nationals. Go! New ship of the mirrors at Southeastern Salvage. Double glass mirrors with 5-inch white frames. Three colors, seven sizes. Cherry black, brown, and black. 20 by 24, $39. 24 by 36, $59. Southeastern Salvage Home Emporium, Eugene Avenue off Thompson Lane. Uh, big day, big day. <laughs> Yesterday, I guess, was a big day, but, you know, I, I, recited, I decided to retire. Heck, I can't even say it, but... Yeah, watching the NFL will never be the same. For millions of fans, John Madden was even better than the game. That's not to say everyone loved his bombastic style, but he was a broadcasting giant. You knew when Madden was on a game. Today, he announced he's done his last one. At 73 years old, Madden is retiring from the broadcast booth. He'll be replaced on Sunday Night Football by Chris Collinsworth. Now, Madden called games for three decades. He got out on top. The last one was the Super Bowl. You just get to the point and you know that 
you know, at some point you have to do this. And I got to that point, and and the thing that made it hard is not because I'm second guessing, is it the right decision, but I enjoyed it so damn much. College football now. Spring practice comes to an end Saturday for the Volunteers with the orange and white game at Neyland Stadium. They've already distributed over 30,000 tickets. A new coaching staff has created a steep learning curve for the Vols. They've had to learn a new playbook and the expectations of their new staff. That staff is trying to answer one important question. Who's the quarterback? Quarterbacks, until you have a ball, it's kind of hard. So uh, I'm starting to understand their personalities. I'm starting to understand how they are in the huddle. It's really good for me to get a chance to be out here all the time with them in the huddle. So. You know, I get a good handle on them because obviously on game day I won't be able to be out there with them. So um, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable with them. Well, hockey today, Preds general manager David Poyle indicated today he is committed to Nashville and building a Stanley Cup contender with the Predators. That comes on the heels of the GM position opening up in Minnesota. Of course, former Preds owner Craig Leopold owns the Wild now. He fired Doug Risebrough today, and he and Poyle are still believed to be on pretty good terms. Baseball, bad week for the Bravos. Top of the second, Columbia native Dan Ugla grounds to short for Florida. Should have been a double play. It was a no play when Kelly Johnson dropped the ball, and they paid the price. Same inning, Cody Ross dropping a three-run bomb, and the Braves get swept. Six to two. Well, 72 bucks gets you an obstructed view ticket to the opening game at New Yankee Stadium in New York, and those fans are probably glad they didn't see the whole thing. The Yanks got shellacked by the hapless Cleveland Indians, 10 to two. Just Cleveland's third win of the year. Congratulations. A lot more games coming, too. Oh, warmer weather on the way, thank goodness. Yeah, it's a little cool out there this evening, and as the sun goes down, it may get chilly again, so grab a jacket. But tomorrow, we're looking at 72. Now, that's more like it. 70s on Saturday, too, and most of the day should be dry. Right now, it looks like the rain chance would come in Saturday night. And certainly Sunday looks like it could bring some wet weather. All right, Lisa, thank you. That wraps up our 6 o'clock report. Have a good evening. Join us at 10. News 2 presents the Tennessee Lottery Educator of the Week. Woody Trodson teaches English and English Honors classes at Dixon County High School in Dixon. Students say he's the best teacher. They really appreciate the intelligent yet humorous approach he takes in the classroom. That approach helps them retain the material they're learning. So we salute Woody Trotson as our News 2 Educator of the Week. Presented by the Tennessee Lottery, which has raised more than $1.3 billion for education programs.